everybody on the pro forum. So way back when, let's go way back in time to pre-digital days. Here's what happened with me. I'm shooting film. Uh, a buddy of mine had bought a huge drum printer. Uh, I forget the, it, it, they called it Jacle back in those days. But basically it was this huge drum and you would tape <clears throat> or attach uh, a, a material like a watercolor paper or something like that to this drum and then it would spin and, uh, and as you would come across it, uh, the ink head would spray ch -ch 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 different things onto it and as a result when you were done you had a, a picture okay this thing cost mega bucks it was gazillions of dollars bottom line is he bought this and his brilliant idea was that he was going to, you know, that's how he was going to start delivering all of his wall portraits. And he did that for a while. I'm pretty sure he paid for his machine. But anyway, the bottom line is, you know, things got easier and faster and all the way up to today. And now for just a few hundred bucks, you can have an Epson, okay, and, and produce images that blow your mind, okay, right in the back of your studio. As a result of all of that, the lab prices have actually gone down from them, from, from that time. And so here we are today, living in a world where you can get an 8x10 for hardly anything. The lab, you, you upload it to the lab, they print it and ship it back to you all on the same day. Depending on where you are in the country, theoretically, you can, you can send stuff out on a Monday and have it on a Tuesday. I mean, it's depending on what time of the day on a Monday you send it in. I mean, it, it, it is crazy fast and just a crazy world. What does all this have to do with today's message? Well, way back then, way back then, I can't even remember what version of Photoshop it was, but I do know that it was floppy disks and not a CD. That, uh, that much I do know. So a bunch of little floppy disks. And um, I remember, I remember distinctly installing Photoshop on my computer, opening it up and looking at it and going, now what? Well, I had a now what um, moment just the other day, a few months back with Final Cut. And so the message is start learning this. Unlike with Photoshop, back in the day with Photoshop, I mean, there was no YouTube back then for you to just Google a question and bam, you get to watch somebody show you exactly how to do whatever it is that you're having a problem doing. Nowadays, buddy, you Google a Final Cut Pro question and I guarantee you, you come up with 10 videos showing you exactly what to do to solve your problem. So, message for the day is start learning Final Cut. If you, if you got an aversion to uh, Final Cut, start learning Adobe Premiere. But start learning this now because I can foresee, I just got this nasty feeling where everything is sort of not perfectly moving in that direction, but certainly moving in that direction to where more and more stuff is becoming video. I, I just did, had a guy call me just just this week, wanted me to do a little aerial. He knew I had this drone thing and he needed an aerial photograph of his piece of property. So while I was up there, I did a little short video clip. Oh, well, the, the, he, he didn't even post he, the whole point was it, it, it's, a, it, it's a retail thing. He's going to be uh, creating this spot whereby he, he rents out some stuff in the future. So he wanted to say, hey, this is where we are. You know, rent, start pre-renting from me now. And he wanted a still image. Well, after he got his hands on the video, he never even did anything with the still images. He didn't even post them on Facebook. He posted, he's continually posting this video over and over and over that I made for him. Now, if I didn't know Final Cut, um, and which I don't know it yet, but if I didn't know it to the extent that I know it now, there's no way I could have made this video. I dropped in some graphics, I put in his logo, um, I had, you know, this little coming soon thing fly out, uh, cut in different little parts of it, added some dingle dingle music to it. Very basic. But all of this stuff is educating me. Every time I do a little movie in Final Cut, um, I'm 
I run into a problem and I'm learning it more and more and more how to fix some of these little crazy problems. So take it for what it's worth. I highly recommend. I wish someone would have done this to me way back in the day with Photoshop. I'd be even better and faster than I am now. Uh, but start learning this now. Take take just, you know, make make something for your kids. Make something for your wife. My next project, I want to do it here pretty soon, is to make a video exclusively photographed, filmed, audio, everything with the iPhone. I don't know. Just a crazy project for me. Anyway, talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.